Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Simmons for another Two Minute Turf Talk, the first turf talk of the year 2024. And I hope and trust that everybody had a wonderful holiday season and a great new year. As I sat around during my holiday break, I would look at some of the social media streams in the turf industry. And one of the things that came through persistently were conversations about the need for potassium. And a lot of folks are saying there's plenty of potassium in the soil. And other folks say that every time it rains, the potassium is washed out. The bottom line is that you can always see where your potassium levels are by looking at at your soil tests and understanding what that relationship is. But what I want to really highlight today is that one of the strongest needs for potassium is to buffer sodium in the soil. Take a look at these soil samples. These were samples that came across my desk during the break. And as you can see here, as you look down at that percentage, the percentage of potassium here is actually much lower than the percentage of sodium. You can see 6.37 on that first sample versus 8.33 on that same sample of sodium. So what happens here when there's more sodium in the soil, potassium isn't able to keep it at bay, isn't able to push it out. So it flushes into the cell and it creates what we call sodium-induced wilt. And this sodium-induced wilt is a very subtle stress on any turf grass. And most superintendents or assistant superintendents have seen this somewhere in their career where the grass is wilting, but it doesn't make sense because the soil is moist or the temperatures are low. This very often is a sodium-induced wilt problem or a sodium or a chemical-induced wilt problem. And you can find this on your soil test, as we saw in that last sample. Here at Earthworks, we're very big believers in potassium. We know the importance of it. But for no other reason, if you focus your attention on potassium to manage and keep sodium at bay, you will create a situation where you don't have sodium-induced wilt problems, especially during the heat of the summer. So here at Earthworks, we created a product called K-Vantage. Uh, K-Vantage is a liquid potassium product with three forms of organic potassium, but it's our first experience into eco-adaptive technologies that allowed us to make sure that it was well-balanced so that the plant can take up optimum amounts of potassium because of all of its carbon-based, and it can help to buffer this problem that we know of as sodium-induced wilt.